One thing's for sure, two things for certain. Y'all forgot about me. <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back. We back. FTA with another one of our top pet peeves. Or my top pet peeves. Y'all ready for this or no? <laughs> I'm going to start off by saying this, though, yo. Um, we, we, we've we been chilling for a little bit, but we definitely back. About to bust y'all in y'all head. I'm going to kick it off like this. My top, top pet peeve, number one, is definitely just going to have to be stupidity. Stupidity is definitely my uh top pet peeve. You feel me? I hate stupid motherfuckers. You feel me? Male, female, or woman, man. Um, I just don't like stupidity, you know? Um, I'm sorry if you're stupid and you, and you really is stupid, but, you know, I just don't like stupidity, man. So if you if you got a, a single bone of smartness in your body, just use it to the best of your ability, you know? It'll help us all. Um, my number two would definitely have to be beating around the bush beating around the bush if you have something to say say it get it out you know even if you you might feel like the uh the, the spectators or whoever you're saying it to might feel some type of way about it or whatever man spit that shit out let us know stop beating around the bush because at the end of the day if i gotta answer the question for if i gotta you know speak up for you it's not gonna be cool you know i'm not and, and i'm not gonna agree with you it's just gonna be like all right fuck it is this what you wanted to get to is this it? You know? And and that sucks. That sucks. You know what I'm saying? One, uh, <laughs> my third pet peeve. This is a little silly, y'all. It's a little silly. It's a little, it's a little funny, but there's some shit. There's some, some hygienic shit. I hate smelly feet. I hate smelly feet. Now, now when it's on a guy, if a guy got smelly feet, you know, you got to um, put into perspective the type of job that he might have. You know, how long he's on his feet. And, you know, how quick he can get to clean those things. But women, you women, you women, if y'all got them cheese doodles, corn chips, uh, corn nuts, any of that, listen, put them feet in the tub. Put them feet in the tub before you come outside. Fellas, y'all too, fellas. If you about to go, if you know you about to go to your homeboy crib or shorty crib or, you know, somewhere especially if you going somewhere where you got to take them things off you feel me don't be the only person in the crib with your boots on you feel me just go back outside it's all right go home try again wash your feet off come back feel me stinky feet that shit is not flying over here you better fix your feet another thing that i uh my fourth pet peeve this this fourth this fourth yeah number four this is my favorite number right here <clears throat> my fourth is definitely yo check me out i got a son in the background um uh, gossip gossip more so more so i'm gonna say like female gossip because i don't i don't really be around men <clears throat> that gossip that talk about other men you know it's always like a structured this is a structured settlement i feel like when when men are talking this is these are problems that you know but i just i, I just feel like why are you wasting your time talking to me and these other people about this other person that you could be talking to this person about Yo, go tell Alicia that, that her fucking hair is uh falling out. You know what I'm saying? Or, or go tell Thomas that he got a hole in his shoe. You tell Thomas that shit. Don't tell me that shit. You heard? That was my fourth pet peeve. Now, my fifth pet peeve, my fifth and final pet peeve, y'all ready for this? Is asking me questions that you know the answers to. Anybody. Or, or I'm gonna say this. Or I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say my my fifth biggest pet peeve is asking me a question that I think you know the answer to. You don't even necessarily have to know it. If I think you should know it, like like we some adults, and you ask me, I'm gonna just throw this out there. It's hypothetical. It's not. It's not serious or anything. But who the president is? Or or so you could go ask Google. You know what I'm saying? Whip your phone out. Do some information searching. Get get a read a book or something. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask me no question. Even if it's even if it's even if it's like something like at home. Like I I you know, oh man, I have people asking me questions about like parenthood. I'm a brand new parent. You your kids 10. 
why are you asking me about how, what you should do at home with your 10 year olds i got a three-year-old that i'm trying to control right now you know what i'm saying like i feel like you got some experience in this thing or lord information is free information is free so i feel like you know before you bring a question or a topic or anything that you need an answer to you should like try to do some research first and if you can't find that research then bring it but it's like, come on, man. Everything is available. Information is free. You shouldn't be asking me nothing. I feel like people be asking us questions to um, stuff they know the answer to, to get a vibe, to, to, to you know, opinionate it. They want to hear other people's opinions, but don't make it sound like you need some help or you really, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, motherfucker, listen, yo, this is a question that I know you know. And, and if you let me know that, oh, man, the, the, the answers are going to be astronomical. Like, you, like I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. Like, you're going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about now? You lost me on that one. Yes, I did, because you lost me asking. And those are my top five pet peeves.